This time we will talk about event receipt letter and email body, which can be effortlessly crafted with payments to us. Here is an example of how the overall email and receipt looks like. Maya buys three tickets for movie event on the World Aid event page. If the transaction is completed, she will receive an email with PDF receipt attached. You can confidently craft official emails without concerns about spam using our product. That is not only a good opportunity to appeal for fundraising, but also can help participants claim their tax deductions. And it's a way to acknowledge and thank for their contributions. As you see, once a transaction is completed, it sends an email including two parts. One is receipt letter. Another is email body. Let's talk about the receipt letter first. There are five steps of receipt letter you need to follow. Create a receipt letter, link to the payment form, customise the receipt letter, modify header and footer, and preview the receipt letter. Let's create a receipt letter first. Go to Letter Object. You click New button on the top and select Receipt as Record Type. Fill out the information as above and then Save. Then links your receipt letter to the payment form. Open the payment form you want to link to. Click the Receipt template. Search and choose the receipt letter. Now, the receipt letter has been linked to the payment form. How to customise the receipt? Open letter template. You can change the length and font family of the text, receipt size and spacing between each section on the receipt. Notice, you do not want to generate the static text, such as the recipient name. Therefore, merging mail field is necessary that allows you to dynamically generate the text click Letter Template Builder on the top. Type the mail field you want to merge in the search bar. Copy and paste to the text editor, and then save. You can modify contacts details. This section is where you can edit the contact details shown on the receipt you can see contact name and address information here. You can change the field order, add a new field or delete fields. You can also modify the table panel. You can edit the table panel, the same as editing recipients details but you can modify the spacing between each field. How to add letterhead and footer. Header and footer can be modified and uploaded in the system. You can edit them in the merchant facility under notes and attachment side widget. Notice please include letterhead and footer as your picture name when uploaded to the system. The last step is to preview and check the receipt letter. Open transaction record. Click the receipt button on the top right. Now you can preview the receipt and we will go to the email body. Now let's go to the email body part. And there are three steps you need to follow. Create a HTML email template. Insert code into the email template and send test and verify merge field. Let's go to the first step, create a HTML email template. You can use HTML tools like HTML editor to help with your HTML code and format. The website shows at the top left corner. Step two, insert code into the email template. Go to setup. Select Classic Email Templates. Find Payment Receipt. 
click edit button and paste your HTML code in the Visual Force Editor. You need to use Maya Field to dynamically generate the text, the same as we did in the receipt letter text, such as replacing with the name field and receipt number field. We will verify the fields in the next step. Click the Save button. You can preview your email template here. The last step is to verify whether your merge fields are correct. Click Send Test and Verify Merge Field button. Choose Contact and select Maya who bought three movie tickets. And choose Related Transaction Record. Provide the email address where you'd like to send this email or you can send it to your own test mailbox. Now an email with PDF receipt would be sent to the recipient's email inbox. You can check whether the fields are dynamically generated and correct. Now you have a clear picture of how to create your own receipt and email body. If you like the videos, please subscribe and feel free to check out more other useful resources linked in the description below.